and fresh because I'm so used to doing 35 hours long hauls yeah I'm so used to doing such long hauls that this felt like literally a two-hour drive so feeling good I slept well I can't wait I'm so happy to be in the US Ooh, la, 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 la. And hello, it's the next day. I had a five star snooze. Uh, went to bed at 10 p.m., woke up at 7. I mean, jet lag is unexisting at this point, so I'm very happy because I get to really enjoy my time. So it's Thursday today and my friend is working, so I am gonna go walk around. It's a gloomy day today, so I am going to take advantage of that and actually go a little bit shopping. Uh, I love to shop alone and I am absolutely hitting three stores. First one is Reformation because I have so many pairs of jeans that I want to try there and I have never been to a Reformation store so I cannot wait. Then I'm going to Alo Yoga, same, never been to an Alo Yoga store and I can't wait. I'd like to buy one or two sets. And then I'm going to Sephora and you guys all know how excited I am about going to Sephora so I can find all these certain brands that we don't have in France. So I'm gonna do that today and just like walk around and smell the Chicago air. Um, I am very excited to be in America. I haven't been here in maybe five, before COVID for sure. Oh, one thing you might not know about me, I, my mother's sister, so my aunt, hi Chubby, I know you might be watching this, um, she lives in LA and she has kids and she's been living there for I think almost 25, 30 years and I, as a kid, my sister and I, since we are babies, we would go to LA every summer and spend our summer vacation until I was like 18, 19 or something like that. So... I spent a pretty big chunk of time of my life in the US. So the US have a very much, I would say, nostalgic feeling. Like when I'm here, it reminds me of my childhood. Um, I was in the taxi coming over and the commercial was going around in the radio and just the voice, the tone of American commercial just like get me so like, oh, I'm in America, you know? And that's very enjoyable. We walked around last night and I have to say that Chicago really looks like a little bit like New York, but in a more chill vibe. And my friend has organized so many things for me in the next few days that I cannot wait to vlog and I cannot wait to discover for myself. So yeah, guys. So a lot of you ask me like, what type of denim to buy, blah, blah, blah. I have to say that right now my jeans collection is very tiny. I am missing some staple jeans denims. So I've been really searching for that. But the, re the reality of it is that it's not easy to find jeans that are the fit that you want and then that fit well and then blah, blah, blah. I went to Levi's. It was a complete disaster. Nothing fitted the way I want them, wanted them to. So I have high hopes for Reformation because I saw a few styles that looked really good on the website. So. We're gonna go together. I'm gonna take you guys into the fitting room with me and we're gonna look at them. So like this, it might help you find something you like. Let's go to Chicago. You guys, that song from the the singer Joe DG, D -J Joe, yeah, is in my mind ever since I've landed. It's like, and when I'm back from Chicago, <laughs> I feel, I can't get it out of my brain. But anyways, yeah, let's go.
you guys. So I had a very unsuccessful shopping at Reformation because most of the sizes that I wanted weren't available. <sighs> Denim shopping is something. For some reason, it's for me the toughest thing because there's always something that might not go right. And then from one style to another, your size is not the same. It's like, oh, such a hassle. But I have to say that the shopping experience is so amazing because those fitting rooms, you could stay there all day. So it gives you, you know, the time to try things. I just came out of the stores and I run down the stairs and this very beautiful girl looks at me and I'm like, I don't know, she's looking at me like she knows me. But anyway, I come out and then <laughs> she comes out behind me and she's like, are you from Karen from YouTube? And it was so cute. I cannot believe I'm in Chicago. <laughs> shopping and then someone just like comes up and is like I like your channel oh it's so cute if you ever see me please never feel ashamed to come and talk to me because <laughs> it's so nice I love it I love meeting you guys <laughs> I am at Alo Yoga everything that I want is sold out <laughs> anyway so I'm just trying basic black pieces this is gorgeous I really love this the fit is so pretty and then shorts I just went to the biggest Starbucks in the world apparently uh, I definitely needed a coffee kick I am starting to feel a little bit of the jet lag as it is 10 p.m. in France I'm arriving at Sephora guys and we all know that I only came to Chicago to go to Sephora <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This is Lisa. Lisa's at Sephora. She did this Givenchy campaign a few months back. And look, she's right here. Oh, so cute. This is heaven. We're back, guys. We just got back. I had such a lovely afternoon just walking around it was so nice so i feel like we need to do a little sephora haul i didn't get yet what everything that i wanted because there were certain things that i wasn't sure about color so i wanted to think about it and i'm still here a week so i have time to think about it oh. first thing that i got is the summer fridays jet lag mask in mini um for some reason sephora in france doesn't carry some summer fridays anymore which is a little bit sad but I got the jet lag mask. I've always, I've repurchased this so many times um, throughout the years. I just love what this does to my skin. And then if I'm really tired, I use it like as an eye cream and it just like whoosh, brightens up my under eye. I really, really like this product. Remember how I bought my Kosas concealer a little bit, a shade a little bit lighter than I'm used to? I bought shade two in a normal size, but it kind of feels a little bit too yellow. And so, I'm keeping it to kind of do more of a brightening effect, but as a true concealer, I needed number three. And they actually sold it in a mini, so I got it in a mini, it was so cute. I got this Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I got it in a mini because anything that I don't know, I always buy in a mini because I'm never sure I'm gonna like it. Plus that Sephora had so many cool minis, like Westman Atelier minis, all of that, that I was like, might as well just buy it in a mini. So I got this. I've heard great things about this. So after like you work out, you just give yourself a little spray and it helps to kind of kill the bacteria on your skin. Then this is from One Size. It's a brand that I've never heard of before, but I saw someone in a reel saying that this setting spray was incredible, that it really made your makeup not move at all. And same, they sold it in a mini, so I was like, I need to try this. I got the Say Star Glow. Um, it's a highlighter that is a little bit like the one from Chanel that I used recently. It's like a fluid highlighter that you can really put everywhere on your face. Wait, is that what I bought? Yeah. And Lisa had it a few years back and they had it in a mini. So I was like, this is very, very nice. It's practical. It's so gorgeous. Look at this. And it just gives a really, I'm just gonna put it on, really pretty glow. And it feels very nice on the skin. It's not a highlighter. It's really a little fluid that you put in on top or under your foundation. And it just, see, 
bring some very natural, see what it does? Very natural um, highlight. I like highlights, but I like it when they have a very natural finish. I don't like highlighters that feel too much of a, that give too much of a strobe effect, you know, where you really can see sparkles and all of that on your face. I like it when it just brings this very natural glow. New brush from House of Labs. I tried their foundation on my hand. Wow, guys. The consistency of the foundation was incredible. So it's, I've seen a lot of people rave about it. And I have to say that the consistency was beautiful. But I got the brush because I'm actually, I needed a brush, like a sculpting brush for contour. And this one was a dual brush, dual ended brush. It is so gorgeous. Look at this. And so soft. It's like the soft, softest things I've ever seen. So this is see, perfect for contouring and sculpting. And then this one I can use for blush. It's the perfect brush. I'm so happy. Then I got two um, gloss. One from Merit, which same as a brand that you don't have in France. So I was happy to kind of see their products. And one from Say. So this one is a very pretty pink. It's lighter in real life. It looks darker um, on camera. But should I try it like that? I hope I like it because I bought it a full size, so. But I really like the very natural pink. I liked the way it, mm. oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Um, oh. Weird taste. Okay, this is very nice. Not sticky and feels amazing. Cute color. I do have my iconic new Charlotte Tilbury under, but this is it. Let me rub it off so I can try the Merit one. So wait, this one I got in shade Kiss, and this one I got it in shade Juti. And so this is the Merit one. The packaging's stunning. See, the colors are pretty similar, but the reason I grabbed it is the consistency of this was incredible on my hand. I was like, wow. It's not sticky. It felt like really like an oil, but a lot of the lip oils that I tried at Sephora um, on my hand were still very sticky and thick. And this one just like was incredible. So I cannot wait to try it on. So both of them, what I love, they have no sparkles in them. I sometimes don't really like sparkly makeup. Oh my God. This is heaven. Good morning guys so it's about time you see my friend hello Yay! she's been into vlogs before uh, the one where she came and visit me in Bali so if you've never watched our adventures there you should because yeah, <laughs> that was a fun vlog uh, it's Saturday today it is such a beautiful day the wind is cold though a little bit yeah yeah it doesn't feel like 20 Celsius degrees no it feels cold it feels cold see when I packed and I said is it a warm cold or a a warm warm like what do I pack when I was packing my <laughs> you know it's a warm cold we are Pilates girls so we're going to solid core right now which has been recommended by so many of you on Instagram who said if you loved core if you wanted like a challenging refer uh, reformer Pilates you should go to solid core so we are super excited to check it out she's never been no so I'm very excited to <laughs> exactly and then we have such a fun day planned we're going brunch we're going for a walk and then we're gonna do a architectural tour yesterday I went to soul cycle for the first time which was kind of my Disneyland like I love trying out new uh, gym classes and soul cycle is kind of the it was amazing we had a britney dua lipa and beyonce class yes and the teacher was like a performer yes it was amazing it was it really was amazing and like it's honestly three of my favorite artists like beyonce yeah. britney spears and dua lipa yeah. and like it was so good it's challenging but it was so much fun it really is what you know going to a gym class should be which is a mix of challenge and fun yeah. and it was definitely that but i have to say that yesterday we were <laughs> exhausted <laughs> it was crazy <gasps> we, nice. we had we were in survival mode all, all day, day. 
it was crazy. But so, it was nice. So. It was nice. Oh my god, this weather, guys! We are arriving at Solid Core. Is it open? <laughs> Look, that's us in a minute. I just finished the class. Look at my leg shaking from the class. This gives you an idea of how tough it was. We just finished the class and it was the most challenging reformer I've ever done. The guy was <laughs> crazy. The exercises were insane. We, we didn't, dead. she's dead, I'm dead. And we didn't understand half of what he was saying. So we were like looking at what, what people were doing. She was looking at me. I, I was, was looking, looking at, at her. her, hoping that she would understand. But what we didn't know at that time is that he was already explaining the instructions for the next move. Yeah. Why we were doing the initial like, move, you know? Yeah. We were lost. So lost in but, the dark. <laughs> in, in the dark. But I have to say that it's definitely, if you look for challenging reformer classes, it's really really yeah. good very good yeah it really will build your muscle your booty your, your, your arms everything you want so highly recommend yeah if I you're definitely in, go again oh look at her <laughs> lake trail walk which was so nice uh, and we're now heading out to do the architectural tour and I'm so excited because honestly wow what a beautiful city it's amazing it's beautiful like the skyline that I have right here on my side over here is one of the most beautiful things I have seen in the US so it's just been the best we are here having some after a long road yes we walked like two hours yeah we were walking so slow we were cold <laughs> we were cold we were tired and we were walking so slow that the gps was giving us more minutes <laughs> <laughs> we went from like 8 38 minutes to 42 to it was endless, so endless. <laughs> we hope like to rest now a little bit on the boat yeah on the boat. <laughs> not, <laughs> sure. not sure <laughs> yeah we have to queue because she's cheap she didn't want to take the priority, priority on board. <laughs> tickets. <laughs> so you have to queue. It was like twenty dollar in addition. <laughs> <laughs> so we're queuing. back home it's saturday night so we're getting ready to go out for dinner in a restaurant well obviously uh, <laughs> and we're a little bit tired because i have to say that we walked so much today and then we did that boat tour that was incredible and if you're ever in chicago i highly recommend because it was so beautiful and all the explanation of each building and the architecture was so interesting I loved it. So we're heading out now and I just wanted to show you this piece that I purchased recently. So I've worn this so many times because Lisa has it. Um, she bought it a few years back and I thought it was about time I purchased my own because it's such a staple piece. It's this leather corset. It's not real leather. It's vegan leather as they call it. And here it is. The fit is amazing. I'm wearing an extra small and they have a big range of sizes so you can really have something that's very well fitted and i love this this is from the brand colt 
Naked. It's a Ukrainian brand and it is so pretty. I love it. Put it with these like flared jeans so it kind of balance things out. And then I wanted to show you this because I've been using this Merit um, lip gloss these past few days. It is so good. It's very it's a lip oil but it's really like very hydrating non-sticky it leaves a beautiful shine on the lip i love it it's so comfortable to wear and it just brings a little bit of a pink also this Oh, this is a new earring actually from the brand called Pidi Paola that I love. It's a Spanish brand that I often, often purchase. Okay, let's go to dinner. We're on our way to the restaurant that she booked, booked and she's been talking Care about it. ever since I got here. So she has high expectations because I've never been, she's never been. And we're late. We're, oh, we're 15 it's okay. minutes late. It's okay, we're doing our best today. So I'm concerned. <laughs> I wish to have the best experience. Uh, but we'll have the best experience. I know, without stress. But yes. And any risk of cancellation. So apparently the food is amazing. It's incredible. The name of the restaurant is Rosemary. Yes. So it's um, Croatian. And all the people around me that have been there told me that it's a very, very good restaurant. So I'm very excited. are back. We just had a very nice lunch at Bitnik on the river. Bitnik on the river? Bitnik on the river? Yeah. So, yeah. It was lovely. Very nice to like be by the water, enjoy the sun. The weather is so nice. Look at us. So you had to take advantage of it. Yes. We're now walking. So, you know, I'm not planning anything. She's in charge. I'm the mastermind. She's the mastermind. I just follow. Yesterday, I decided to do the same and I ended up walking for three hours. So I have to be careful. So I now ask, like, what's the plan? How long are we gonna be walking yeah, for? Yesterday was too much. So we went to this Pilat class and we walked so much. It was like a very intense day. Yeah. Today is a little bit more chill. Talking about so, Pilates, we both are extremely sore. Yeah. Uh, all types of small little muscles in our body are yeah. dead today. I've been activated yesterday. And, and are dead today. <laughs> dead today. <laughs> so where are we going now? Millennium Park. Oh, Millennium Park. Oh, that's where the Chicago be. Exactly. Okay. <gasps> and then... We are going to attend a hockey game Yay! at the United Center. And then... And th oh, and then... We will have some pizza at Pequot's Pizza. So we're going to try the... Deep, deep dish, dish pizza. pizza yeah so exactly. it we it's already 2 p.m and we have yeah. a lot to, to do. do so we're like but we cannot walk faster at this no. point because <laughs> our butt hurts our legs hurt our ab hurts we've reached our maximum we've reached our maximum of working out we are arriving at the hockey game and i'm so excited to watch it the game and unfortunately the Blackhawks lost um, but it was very fun the seats were very comfortable <laughs> given that our glutes are so in we're in so much pain with our glutes it was very uh, appreciated to have very comfortable seats 
and it was fun to watch a hockey game. I liked it, even though I thought that it was like very short time of play all the time. Um, but it was fun. It was very, very fun. And we're now heading out to have some deep dish pizza, which I'm very, very excited about because like, I'm getting very hungry. But um, we'll see if we if I like it because a lot of people said actually uh, some people wrote me on Instagram saying don't go eat deep dish pizza. No, There's no point of doing it. Pico's pizza apparently is the best in town, so we're excited. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. I bet you will like it. But I feel like I have. I, so first of all, one of my favorite foods is pizza. I love pizza. So we'll see. We'll see. Have a nice day. Perfect. Have a nice day Take too. Care, Thank man. you. Good morning, guys. It's Monday and I'm starting the day right as I am doing a private Pilates class. We met with Lisa and I with this teacher a few months back online and she did a little one-on-one -on -one class but via Zoom. And she actually lives here in Chicago. So when she saw that I was here, she invited me to do a private class. And I'm so excited because uh, I've never done a private class like this. And I think that you learn so much on form when you have your own teacher. Hello! <laughs> and then we're going to take those arms and then pump them behind. Go ahead and keep the softness. Nice. Open and close. Nice. Stay in the center of the trampoline. And then finished the class loved it so much fun she has such a unique techniques and like exercises that is very refreshing because I do a lot of Pilates and different types of workouts and it is nice to have um, in structures that kind of switch things up with different types of exercises and hers were really interesting and very different. We started with bouncing. It flushes out your lymphatic system. And then we did some very like, it looked like it was tiny moves, but it actually brought a lot of heat. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's Monday, so I'm gonna work a little bit. I try, if I go like this on vacation, I try not to work too much, but the thing is that 
you always have a few little things to do. So I'm gonna do so. You guys, I have to talk about such an embarrassing moment. I went to Sweet Greens to get a little Caesar salad because um, I'm so hungry. And my card, well, it wasn't even declined. It couldn't process the my card because I needed to put a pin in and the machine didn't allow me to put a pin in because it's a French card and we cannot just like swipe cards. We need to put a pin, right? And I tried once and twice and tried, and it was just not going through. I had no cash, no other card. And I was like, what do I do? And thank God, uh, a girl, a lovely, sweet girl on next to me. But before I actually had a chance of being like, I'm sorry that I can't pay for it. This girl was like, I'll just take her salad. And I was like, no, you can't. I'm so embarrassed that she did that. And she did, but it was so sweet. Like, uh, <sighs> if you would ever see this. Thank you so much again. <laughs> I have to say it, I, was, I didn't know how to thank her. I was like looking into my bag and be like, what can I give her? <laughs> um, but uh, that was so sweet. Um, thank you. Thank you, it saved me kind of the embarrassment. So I don't know, I, it, it was so, so sweet. I'm like so touched. Mm. And honestly, it's kind of something of the vibe of Chicago. Not only it's such a beautiful city, like it's honestly one of the most beautiful city I've been in the US. Like I'm so in awe of the architecture and everything. It's so stunning, but I love the vibes. It's super chill. It's like a big city, but it's still very chill. People are very calm. And then it comes to like how people are very calm and nice. And I don't know. It's Great city. It's the afternoon. I am done working and I am now going to go to the Art Institute of Chicago. It was recommended by so many people and told me if there was one museum I should check out would be one of them. So I'm going to do this now. But before I go there, I am in desperate need of something sweet and I really want coffee. So the first day that I was here, I needed Wi-Fi. So I went to the Starbucks Reserve because I knew Starbucks would have Wi-Fi. And I had, and it's not the normal Starbucks, it's like high-end Starbucks. And I had this fabulous cinnamon roll, so I've been craving that. And I had this fabulous oatmeal cappuccino. And I'm like, oh, I just want that again. Creature of habit. And then we are going to the museum together. You guys, the weather in Chicago is, oh my God so so insane like I'm so lucky you guys I have never seen this in any city before but they planted all these flowers along the streets everywhere even there in the back it is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen look at this Wow. I am arriving at the Art Institute of Chicago. Can we say how beautiful this city is? Like, look at this perspective. Everything I take pictures of or film is always so stunning. I am in awe. I love it. such a lovely little end of the day um, walk and exhibition. I mostly focused on the modern wing. They have amazing uh, art and then also a lot of the impressionism part. I don't know how you say it in English because I always love paintings from Monet, Van Gogh and all of that. And they had some really beautiful pieces. This was a very beautiful museum. Even like the building is incredible and they had a lot of things like you need time to visit it but i just wanted to see these two particular wings so it was perfect i did a little hour and it was amazing and fun tip if you're not really in a mood of going to the museum too long i arrive at 4 p.m and it closes at 5 and because it, there was only one hour left i actually paid 15 dollars instead of 30 because there was only an hour left so that was pretty cool you're not really into staying too long into museums 
that's a good way to do a little walk and visit the Art Institute of Chicago. Having wine in a plastic glass is... That's why I took a beer. <laughs> it doesn't hit the same. We're now going for dinner at Girl and the Goat, Girl and the Goat. which was very much recommended by a lot of you guys that live here in Chicago. And one thing, because a lot of people said, what are you doing in Chicago? So, that we completely forgot to cover. Oriane here is living in Chicago for a year. Yeah. And Oriane and I have been friends since we are like, 10 years old. 10 years old, yes. yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why yeah. she's one of my best friends since we're kids. Yeah. And we're, you know, wherever we live in the world, we go see each other. Yeah. So when I was in Bali, she came to Bali. And now that she's in Chicago, yeah. I come see her in Chicago. And you will come again. Yes. And, and we all again. And again. And we always have the best time. Yeah. It's these forever friendships. It has been the most wonderful seven days I got since I'm here. Oh no! Yeah, I'm so cute! Oh, boy. Once again, serving white wine in a water glass. We can't. We can't. Such a mistake. It's, it kills the vibe. Look at the disappointment <laughs> of the French girl. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't work. Whatever. <laughs>